as I'll show you in this next clip, I've, I've juxtaposed two sequences. One is a scene you've seen already of a beautiful play relationship where the child initiates the play in a ring around the rosy game. The second clip is a mother who's using drilling the child in order to teach him a lesson. And you'll see the difference between relationship-based play and more skills and drills-based approach. You'll notice that they waited patiently for Lena to initiate. Yes, you want the X? Yes, Mama. You want the X? It's X. Yes, Mama. You want the X? Yes, Mama. You want the X? It's X. Yes, Mama. Yes, Mama. Okay, take Put it. Put it. Excellent, Bohima. Good job. Good job. See. See. Okay. Good job. This mom knows what she wants him to learn. She has an agenda, and she's making what him what do what, what, what she what wants this? him to do. What this? Huh. A. A. And in this yes, third clip, we have JD, Whoa. who's having an affective good time, but his mother turns it into a teaching situation. Okay, let's talk about that third clip for a second. The activity was obviously something JD liked to do. He had affect around this activity. He was pounding the balls into the castle towers and he was waving his hands in excitement. His mother said, wow, when he started to hit them, which was joining him in his play. And when she asked him to count the balls, he did and gave some nice eye contact. So in a way, that was teaching, but it was also relationship, which, is, which good teaching can be. But then she tried to teach him that four balls and four years old were the same number, and she lost them. And that was an ineffective form of teaching, which I would call drilling. So what could this mother have done to keep the activity more relationship-based, keep the flow going, and have fun? Uh, what could she have done there? Um, parents will say to me uh, commonly when they're using these methods,